Welcome back to Keen Plays. Today I have another game from Princess Auto from the surplus section. Narabi from Z-Man Games. I picked it up for five bucks, but I was just checking online and they have it on even more of a clearance for only two fifty. So <laughs> I uh, didn't didn't get the best deal, I guess. But I think it's usually like a ten dollar game or something like that. So for five bucks, let's let's see if it's worth it at all. On Board Game Geek, it has an average rating of 6 out of 10. And yeah, from what I can tell, it seems to be a cooperative card game. And that's all I really know about it. It shows uh, 3 to 5 players, ages 10 and up, 10 to 15 minutes. Nice little small size box here. Here it is. There we go. Okay. Little roll booklet. And then we have our cards. Feel pretty good. Looks like two different types of cards here. One with numbers on them, and then one with rules for the cards, I guess. So there we go. And then we have just a single piece here. Playing piece. And what are these? We have got a bunch of card sleeves. Okay. Well, let's see how this game plays. For the setup. If it's a three or four player game, you will return one blank white stone card, one blank dark stone card, and the nine. Is that a six or a nine? I guess that's a nine. And then you shuffle up each deck, you shuffle up the stones. And then you shuffle up the restriction cards. You'll take one of each of these. You'll take a restriction card and a stone card. And you'll have the restriction visible on one side and the stone visible on the other side. And you'll put that into a card sleeve. Just like so. Tight fit. There you go. That's a very tight fit. Holy crap. That is way too tight. Oh my gosh. Do I have like three cards in there or something? No, just two. Man, that is crazy tight. All right, let's try maybe just one card at a time. Even one card is tight. That's crazy. Wow. Man, that is way too tight. And you have to do this each game holy crap like jeez that is okay 
and we'll get it in a little bit more there. That's crazy. That's horrible. Maybe it gets better over time, <laughs> but that is rough, man. That is so hard to get in there. I think this would probably be worth it. If it's like a decent, uh, okay, there we go. That one went in way better. Probably be worth it to find like some card sleeves that are just like slightly bigger. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Okay, maybe there was just a couple bad ones. I'm not having as bad of luck with these last few that I've done. This one's a little bit tighter. Not as bad though as those other ones. Yeah, there we go. I have some extra ones here for if you were to play with five players. And then you'll just shuffle these up and you'll deal them out. So if you have three players, each player gets four stones. Four or five players, then it is three stones each. So let's just do a three player game. And I don't know, I guess you, there kind of has to be an order to how you deal them out. You just keep going to the right or whatever. Maybe it doesn't matter that much, but there we go. Okay, so yeah, the whole goal of the game would be to have these numbers go from zero to eight in order. So either this way or you can go this way as long as they end up in order within 24 turns. And the way that you do that is on your turn, you're allowed to move these cards around, but they each have their restrictions. So on the bottom of each card, and these are supposed to be stones, I guess, on this side. On the bottom of each card, it has a restriction, so switch the stone with a stone with a higher number. And this is just a blank, so that just counts as anything. So you could basically switch it with anything. And on the one, we have switch this stone with a stone with a number between two and six. Switch a stone with a stone with a lower number. And switch a stone with a light stone. So yeah, light stones, dark stones. On your turn, you must switch the position of one of your stones with another player's stone. You can't switch two of your own stones. It has to be with another player's. And then after your turn is done, you move this up one, and it's the next person's turn. These blank cards, they have a value of zero for in situations like this. So switch a stone with a stone with a higher number. This counts as a zero. But when you're arranging these numbers in order, they just count as blanks. So the zero is only for the restrictions. You're not allowed to show anyone the backs of your cards. That's supposed to be a secret for you. There is some like table talk rules. Basically you aren't allowed to talk about the restrictions at all. So you win as long as you can get all of these numbers in order from zero to eight in this case. With five players, it would be zero to nine. As long as you can complete that within the 24 turns, then you win the game. Otherwise, you lose. The way that it would play is on your turn, uh, like we already have a good thing going here. We have a zero and then a one. If we could, you know, get the two over here, the three there, or maybe a blank here, we could switch the four over to this one, get the two here, then, you know. So, if that's what I'm thinking on my turn, or I could maybe get the one over here, maybe. Uh, if I want to move my one, switch this stone with a number between two and six. Okay, so I can't switch it with that one because the blanks count as zero. So I can't really move that one around, but maybe I could, 
What does the four do? Switch this stone with a stone with a lower number. So that's perfect, okay. So I'm going to use this to switch it with this one there. And so now my turn is over. That's one turn. And now we have a pretty good start here. We have a zero, blank, one, two. There's a three there. So if we can switch this for a blank, that'd be good. This guy's turn, uh, he's got a blank. What can you do with that? Switch the, switch the stone with a blank stone. Well, that's pretty pointless. <laughs> that's too bad. That would have been a good one. Um, yeah, he can't really do too much here. I mean, he could just switch it with a blank stone. Because there's not much else he can do. But maybe he can get the four over here. Switch his stone with a stone with a lower number. He can do that, actually, because this counts as a zero. So put that there. That's a pretty good move. And then that would be the second turn. This guy's turn. Well, if we can get the five here, switch the seven with the five, that'd be great. Switch his stone with a dark stone. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so we have zero... Blank, one, two, we need to switch this one for a blank. Three, four, five, six, seven. Look at that, there's two blanks right there. We just have to get the eight over there. And it's only been three turns so far. So back to my turn. Can I get rid of this eight? Switch this stone with a light stone. Look at that, there's a light blank stone. And that only took four turns. So we have achieved serenity. <laughs> Four turns, we have achieved it, congratulations. And that's how it plays. If you wanted to do another game, you would have to take out all these cards, shuffle them back up, re-put them back in, and that's where the tightness of some of these protector sleeves here really sucks. Because, I mean, that was, that was a really quick game, and I just, I didn't set that up. Like, that just happened. And that was like a really quick game. <laughs> so like, hey, we did really good, guys. Let's uh, let's play it again. That only took five minutes. I mean, it took, you know, five minutes of just getting these cards into the sleeves. But the game was super short. So let's play that again. And then you have to get these things out of there. Like, <sighs> how? <laughs> how do you do that? How do you get them out of these sleeves? There we go. All right. Kind of stuck in there. And this one is really tight for whatever reason. There's a couple there that I really struggled with. Yikes, man. Yeah, these are in there tight. So that would be the downside for sure, is that if you want to play, you know, few games in a row I mean luckily if you had you know three or four people playing then you can all <laughs> work on getting these cards out and putting them back in rather than just one guy doing it takes a little longer but yeah anyways so that's uh that's the gist of it I haven't played it with anyone yet so I don't have the greatest insight to it it seems like a pretty decent uh decent little card game it's got some some cool features these card sleeves <laughs> that's definitely a big downside for sure like i think this would be just a fun game to like throw out and play a few rounds or something like that it'd be kind of fun but the setup is harder than it should be for a simple card game like this otherwise it seems like a you know fairly decent game um, nothing crazy though it's not like the craziest game ever so it's it's definitely supposed to be just a quick 15 20 minute game definitely gets bogged down because of the setup time if I had to rate it based on you know just this simple gameplay that I've done 
probably be like a six, but the setup is just so terrible. Honestly, if these card sleeves were just a little bit bigger, it'd make it so much better. Again, if you had more people with you, it'd go by faster as well. But I think that just brings it down enough where you can't just bring it out quick and, and just deal out the cards and start playing. There is a little bit of setup involved and it's annoying with these card sleeves. <laughs> so, so just for that, I'd say it's like a 5 out of 10. That's just based on what I've shown you in this video. Let me know what you guys think. Is it worth the five bucks? Yeah, let me know down in the comments. And if you'd uh, like to leave a like on this video or subscribe to my channel, that would be awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.